Hey guys and welcome to a new video on my channel. Today I'm gonna show you a tutorial on how to make thumbnails I do for my videos such as this, this and this. I actually asked you in my story if you want a coloring tutorial or a thumbnail tutorial first and most of you said thumbnails so here we are. And let's not talk much and start already. Okay, first go to the project where you did an edit on or where you did the tutorial or whatever for your video. I'm just adding a effect here so it looks like I actually edited something, which I obviously didn't. And now you're gonna take a screenshot of how this project looks like right now to like see the progress in the thumbnail. And now make a new project and what you're gonna add is a different photo, maybe from the same person or like the same color and theme. So I added another one young picture which has like the same theme. Make sure the ratio is 16 to 9 because that's the YouTube format. You can put the person to the side so you can see them. And now we're gonna add an overlay and add the screenshot you took. And obviously zoom in. And what you're gonna do is now you rotate it a little bit to the side, just like I did. And put it on the left side and just adjust it so you can see like the bottom of the screenshot. So you can see progress as I already said. And again you have to adjust this the way you want. And also keep in mind, we're gonna have the same theme or color for this thumbnail so it looks good. Okay, so now we're gonna add your text, whatever the title is. I'm just gonna write coloring options and choose a font. I choose Bang You Yet, I don't know how to pronounce that. And you can add shadow or glow or whatever you want. And again, adjust the size if you need. And now I'm going to add another text saying CapCut tutorial and this is optional but you can write whatever app you're editing on. And I'm going to make a different font, I choose baby doll because that's what I use most of the time. And now I'm making it smaller and putting it under the first text. Now you're going to add another overlay of a CapCut logo or whatever logo is from the app you're editing on. You can choose the normal logo or maybe a different color that you can search on Pinterest saying whatever app you're using and overlay. And now I'm going to adjust and click on HSL to like adjust the type of pink I'm going to use because I want a light pink. Now make it smaller and put it on the right side of the text and put it like a little bit under it. Okay, so what you're gonna do now is add an overlay of the color that has like the steam. For me, it's pink, so I choose a pink overlay, which is this one. This is just a light pink color that I like. Now you're gonna rotate it if you need and adjust it to like the full size. And what you're gonna do now is swipe down to put it like under at the bottom of the picture. To make it look like I did and now if you click on blend you can choose whatever type you can choose here because it's different all the time and you have to just, just see what looks better for you. I just chose filter and put the opacity a little down and if you did that you're gonna copy that overlay and rotate it to the opposite size and put it at the top of the picture. And now what I like to do is to add text and like emojis that have the same color of my theme, in this case pink. So add a text and go to emoji and search the color whatever the theme is. Add an emoji and the first one you're gonna put it at the top right corner, just like I did. Now we're gonna add another text and choose again an emoji. 
This time you're gonna put it at the bottom left corner. And I recommend you to not add too much emojis because that doesn't look really good. And now again take a screenshot and crop it to like the size of the photo we just edited. Make sure to save that and now we're gonna add a new project and add that photo. Now you're gonna go to effects and choose the effect nostalgic light and make sure to adjust it or else it will look too bright and maybe not so good. And now this is optional but it's something I like to do. So if you want to do this here you can go to sticker and then go to this like arrow and click on the fourth sticker which has like two arrows pointing to one thing and to another and put it down and make sure to like adjust it and maybe rotate it so that the first arrow shows on CapCut and the second on the CapCut logo and make sure to screenshot it like in the part where you can see the whole arrow and not at the start because at the start you can't see anything and if you took a screenshot just crop it and now as we can see we are done and this is our final thumbnail Okay, that was it for this tutorial. I hope I could help you a little bit and that you can make your thumbnails like mine now too. And if you did, I'll be glad if you leave a like and maybe subscribe because my next goal is 20k and I really hope that we can achieve that soon. I hope you have a nice day or night and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!